It's time to hail our task bot overlord. We're gonna throw it on over to the task bot crew and start. Hello everyone. Yeah. I am Dwango AC, Keeper of TaskBot, and we're starting the TaskBot block off with some Super Mario Bros. 3, but before we get started, there's a couple of quick things. First, as you might have noticed, we have a donation incentive for Pokemon Blue, and there's not a lot of time. I know you've been getting a lot of notifications about that, people have been reminding you, but there's a long way to go, and we really want to see that happen. Trust me, there's a lot of people that want to see that happen. Mm -hmm. Second, if you haven't seen this yet, go to the Yeti, com and check out the TaskBot prototype t-shirt. It's showing off what direction we're taking TaskBot in his next iteration. We've had our wonderful mascot here for the last several years, starting in 2014, and uh, we need to take him to the next level. So if you want to see what prototype direction we're headed, go to buy that shirt. Five dollars of every Yeti shirt there will go to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Last but not least, I didn't run this event. <laughs> TyKevin83 set up all of the work. Big round of applause for him. I'm going to let him take it away. Thanks, Twango AC. I've got with me the Hacksaw and Jabim, some classic RTA Super Mario Bros. 3 runners, and we are going to show you the optimization of Morimoto's classic Super Mario Bros. 3 warps task. So let's get here uh, with the tasking started, and we should be go. We do not have a screen. Oh, oh, there, there we go. go. There, okay. <laughs> so they, even right off the bat, you'll see that Mario gets peace speed way earlier than he normally does. Um, he's got an insane power-up collection here, using uh, some jumps that go straight through the blocks and collect mm -hmm. them before they're even visible to the human eye. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that, that route's flower. really easy. Yeah. Super easy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I like to collect the power-ups. <laughs> exactly. I've just never been able to. <laughs> Yeah, so this level's pretty neat, actually. Uh, people can kind of do a version of this as well, although not quite as good or as swaggy. So the uh, nice little backward swag yep. strat here coming out. And yeah, the fastest yeah, way to yeah. move the game is sliding speed, so. You'll notice when we go through the stage here that we manipulated the hammer bro to only move one step. Yep, overworld movement is really crucial to most RTA runs, but it's even more better for the tasks. Um, we like to pick up the power up like this, but none of us can do that either. Um, clipping through the block and collecting it like that is just super insane. Um, here you're going to hold down for four seconds, but you're also going to get all the motion you can before you fall through the block. Yeah. Did some nice little wiggles there to get some P-speed. Yeah, this uh, task can do wiggles, so you can hold back when it's not checking for his acceleration and get P-speed in a shorter distance than normal. Yeah. And you're actually going to see that a lot in this level, too, because you want to have P-Speed but not fully get it with the tail, because you're going to get that slight speed boost you see that it's constantly getting. And then you want to maintain that P-Speed as long as possible to get into this uh, room here with the whistle. And you might have seen us get one whistle already, but we need two whistles. Yep. As it turns out. And another movement of one. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> RTA runners would kill for this luck right now. Right. Tassers love RNG, but they hate lag which is something that's going to come up in World 8 here. Wow, World 8, how do we do that? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's because we watched The Wizard. <laughs> All right, let's get some donations in here. All right, while we have totally normal things happening on the screen, <laughs> uh, we're going to read some donations. We've got $1,000 from Untitled Donation Dude. <laughs> And they say, I've got to see the Pokemon Task Run. Let's do this. Shout out to Dancing Hat in the front row. I didn't know hats could dance. And now I'm disappointed that none of mine do. Uh, I also have $100 from Onosaurus. Says, hello there. Onosaurus from Team TaskBot here. Excited for another TaskBot vlog. Shout out to the entire TaskBot community, which I am honored to be part of. Let's get a donation train going to reach the Pokemon Blue incentive. TaskBot hype. Onosaurus made the replay device that TaskBot is using today. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how thankful we are. The Task TM32 board made by Onosaurus is that white box you see sitting on top. And then the Viz board there was made by Micro 500 back in the day, and we still use it today because it was so well Yep. And the MOS was also very important in getting the firmware working for our replay device. Yes, the MOS 3212 wrote the software that controls the Task TM32 board. Yeah, I'd just like to say that since Mega Man X finished, we've raised over $40,000. We now only... We now need just a little bit under $35,000 to get that Pokemon Blue Task. So let's keep it going. Awesome. 
Jebim and Haxor, do you want to explain some of what we just saw? Yes. Something I'd like to bring up before this level is over is that we have actually been carefully manipulating our score because lag is determined by the sum of the digits of your score at the end of the levels. So he only has two ones here, which is an incredibly small amount, and he clipped through a wall, which pushed Mario to a place he's not supposed to go to so he could go into that pipe as early as possible. Yeah, we're actually going to see at the beginning of this level a really difficult uh, power-up grab that's actually done RTA as well, but not quite like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I'd like to do in my dreams. Um, but yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty neat power-up grab. So yeah, that's where you get the fire here in World 8, and then we're going to get to see some that, cool yeah. walking here. Oh, look at that. Mario's just walking <laughs> in the sky. Yes, Rocky Wrench doesn't actually have a mechanic for falling off of him. So you can just get pushed off and stay walking in the air for a while. And I think it's a good time for any yeah. more donations or maybe some updates on incentives. If okay, you so, I mean, we raised another $3,000 while you guys were talking. <laughs> <All Mystery. right. laughs> so we do have a good donation here. $200 from Caden, which is named some of those folks over there will recognize says, hello everyone, Caden here. On behalf of the Tool Assist community, I wish to thank everyone involved in this incredible event. Now in its 10th year, thank you to Duango AC, TI Kevin 83 for putting on an incredible show this year. And thank you everyone else who contributed to pulling this off. Everyone here has been touched by cancer, but together we can make this dreadful condition a thing of the past. We already have vaccines for certain precancerous diseases and treatments for several others. My best friend had a brief battle with thyroid cancer. Yeah! But thanks to early detection, she's effectively cancer-free. Together, we can make this a more common outcome. Now, let's reach that Pokemon Blue test incentive. Trust me, it's something you don't want to miss. Wow, no hands. No hands. I can't believe it. Why does Tass always get so lucky? Yeah, it's incredible, right? So, yeah, actually, the, the hands are frame-dependent, so they're able to tell um, what frame oh, no, the... <laughs> <laughs> the hands are going to pull him in on. So you can probably see in the video there's like a slight delay over the middle hand to kind of manipulate that. And when he's shooting fire there, you can only have two fireballs on the screen at, at the same time. But if you shoot them off screen immediately, you can shoot 30 of them a second. <laughs> That's uh, lifting your button off the, your finger off the B button every frame. <laughs> I do have a pretty good suggestion here in a donation. $111.11 from Robotic Operating Buddy. It says, we've got to meet this taskbot instead of, let's do a survey here. If you haven't chipped in yet, donate now with the name of your favorite robot. I'm a Tom Servo fan myself. Or... Yeah, you can actually see that they slide down these hills, even though in the norm one or in RTA they don't, because sliding is faster, but in that tiny of a space, most RTA people can't make it work. Yeah, it's actually a really tight jump that doesn't save much time. This level's not too much different, except obviously a lot more swag, and you do have those little boosts you're seeing there through the bullet bill launchers that are actually pushing them forward and saving some frames too. For so. sure. Everything's just slightly optimized. We only this got one up there instead of the three or five you can get. This level actually has a lot of really cool tech. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of a few despawns to make sure plants don't lag the screen. You're going to jump off this note block straight through it just to push you forward a little faster. Um, sliding speed optimized so that you don't lose any speed and frame perfect jumping to keep it to the end of the stage. So there's actually a really crazy P-Speed strat that uh, is going to be happening here at the beginning of this level. And just in general, this level is actually pretty nuts. So um, you can actually do that RTA. It's just incredibly difficult. But this part, you cannot. <laughs> I mean, Most people would use a safety star. At yeah. The so, so we're going to do some clips here. And then we're going to do some floor clips. And then maybe another one. Two clips. <laughs> and then we're going to use the switch and make it through just in time. That was a, a lot of work by some of the tassers to, to improve that level, mostly for that star uh, at the end of the, the uh, conveyor belt and the spikes. Yeah, that was level. the biggest improvement over the previous task of this run. Yeah, it's incredible. Less than 25,000 to go. I'm just going to put that in there. Whew. Oh, that's great. The task does not reflect the Oglib strat, unfortunately. No. Uh, he's not yeah. going to 
stay at the front and just jump when he has to. He's going to go here. He's going to kill all of these things just to keep his score as uh, close to perfect as possible. Reduce the lag. Notice the uh, extra lives, too. I mean, normally I have, like, you know, 99 lives going to the Bowser's Castle in this category, too. So. <laughs> I'm yeah. surprised those don't cause anything to have any problems. Right. Those nines. I think now is a good time for any more donations, if you have any, oh, I any updates. Oh, I definitely have a few donations. They're coming in. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just want to say that we've got $100 from Will Gundy. says, come on, guys, there's a much time left for the extra task bot run. And we're now at 153000 So keep it rolling. This is incredible watching you all donate at this pace. Uh, keep it up, guys. Pokemon's really cool. I, I, mean, I, I think really Pokemon's cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Having done this a few times, sitting here hosting for TaskBot, I've seen how fast you can donate, and this is still blowing me away, so keep it going. <laughs> I would like to again say that TyKevin83 organized all of the content that you see here. He helped submit it, he helped pick it, he helped organize all of the commentary. He's running this on his laptop instead of mine. I'm bringing him up as much as I can to make sure that if I get hit by a bus, we still have some task bot content to show. Oh, that is awesome. That is super yeah. cool. And the most cool part about that is that it has been done RTA almost entirely. Yeah, obviously the P-Speed keep wasn't done, but yeah, Mitch actually gets that in the uh, No Wrong War world record. And, uh, but nobody can quite do this. No, although Mitch also got the one cycle Bowser kill in a one war world record. Not quite like that, though. <laughs> Definitely was standing on the door like normal. Now, I love this part because <laughs> he just clips to the floor. Yeah, needless clipping, and then Peach says that... Oh, time at, time's at oh, the door, sorry. Time. <laughs> it's so fast, we almost forgot it was over. Right. <laughs> Peach says that our princess was in another castle, but what other castles have we seen in this? We haven't seen any other castles. <laughs> yeah, that's the only castle. <laughs> kind of a weird joke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching SMB3 with Hackstore and JabM here. Let's go back to the break. Yeah, thank Thanks you. for having us, guys. This was great.